on the set of hashtag out of frame. Where's my co-host? He's late again. <laughs> Adam, what are you wearing? What are you wearing, Alessandra? What? I think Adam forgot to go to makeup this morning. Ha ha, very funny buff. Listen guys, I'm dressing for the year 2024. Whoa, okay, you know that we're like 10 years behind, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Welcome to Planet Earth, Space Boy, where Miley Cyrus is cool and Justin Bieber still isn't. Listen, I know what year we're in. I'm just trying to think ahead, you know, set the trend, anticipate next steps. Plus, you know, everything's already been done in fashion. We got the pop top, leggings, jeggings, high low, one shoulder, baggy, skin tight. There has to be something that hasn't been done yet. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? <laughs> You okay? You're good? Don't judge me, okay? Listen, I'm just trying to stay ahead of the curve. There's so many amazingly talented producers who try to set things years ahead of their time. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what's going on, but someone please call the fashion police. And hurry! We have a case of a serious neon crime, and I'm about to puke all over that outfit. What do you get when you mix relentless determination and a fearless attitude? No friends. Buff. Well, it's true. Haven't you watched all those Real Housewives shows? Relentless and fearless isn't working out too well for them. Okay, well in this case, our next profile actually won a genie, numerous Geminis and Canadian Screen Awards, a Profit Award for Excellence, and was named Playback's Producer of the Decade in 2010 for her fearless spirit. She's also known for her inspiration, enthusiasm, and big brain with a huge heart to match. Today, we're talking about Christina Jennings, chairman and CEO of Shaftesbury. Growing up, Jennings learned the value of hard work and earning success on her own. Her father was a writer, and her mother was a stay-at-home mom. Financially, things weren't always so stable. That's right, Adam. And today, Jennings believes her success was partly from the fact that money was tight growing up. However, she also credits her family's creativity for her entrepreneurial spirit. From the age of 15, she was a serial entrepreneur. She realized that finding jobs over the summer wasn't easy, so the only other option was to create her own jobs. At 16, she started her own landscaping company and started many others in the years to come. She settled on media as a profession in her mid-20s. But since she had no background in media, she worked in as many different kinds of jobs in the field to gain experience. Over time, and after being involved with a few low-budget and big-budget projects, Christina wanted to have her creative signature on things that she was working on. Since she liked working in a team environment and knew that she couldn't do everything alone, she thought that starting her own company would be a great way to do that. Christina prides her success with being able to think ahead and strategically plan next steps. Do you know what I pride myself on? Oh no, I think I'm afraid to hear this one. All right, Buff, let's hear it. Weedy. And this is the part where I start to ignore you and carry on with the real superstar we're profiling today. Shall we carry on, Adam? Absolutely. After graduating from the Canadian Film Center, Christina Jennings started her company Shaftesbury in 1987 with one employee. Since then, she's expanded her company and triggered more than 45,000 production jobs in Canada. Today, the company is one of Canada's largest creators and distributors of kids' content and scripted content for TV and digital platforms. Shaftesbury is constantly developing new stories, learning new platforms, and thinking ahead of current trends. What's even more impressive is that during a global recession and a competitive media landscape, Jennings more than doubled the company's production volume. And you thought that your half marathon was a big accomplishment. Hey, I trained almost three months for that. And anyway, I'm ignoring you right now. This isn't about me. This is about Christina Jennings. Thank goodness it isn't. Hey, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna put in a request for another female co-host. We can try to even up the team a bit here. Uh, Alessandra, why don't we just get back on track with Christina Jennings? Maybe we can go to host therapy after the show. So what advice does this media powerhouse share with young and aspiring entrepreneurs? Jennings is amazed with the young generation's enthusiasm. She encourages young people to know what the competition is doing and figure out who the competition is. Jennings advocates that fear cannot exist if you're gonna be a real entrepreneur. You have to go for it. And that is exactly what Jennings has done. She's a risk taker and can talk you into doing just about anything. Whatever she does, she does 100%, which is why she's been so successful. 
Did you know that Regenesis, created by Christina Jennings herself, has sold to more than 100 countries and received an Emmy for Best Online Companion Website before many producers were even looking at the potential of the internet? Life with Derek has been broadcasted in 100 markets and was a top 10 cable series for Disney in the US. She's also adapted much acclaimed Canadian literature into film and television, including Murdoch Mysteries, which has been sold around the world. She also adapted the Giller Prize winning book, Bloodletting and Miraculous Cures, into a TV miniseries. I think I read that book. There was a lot of blood described in it. Hence, bloodletting, and it does take place in a hospital buff. Yeah, I fainted. For, from reading a book? No, from watching the miniseries. Anyway, in television, Jennings has many accomplishments, including The Listener. It stars Craig Olenek as mind-reading crime solver Toby Logan. The Listener continues to drive million-plus audiences, including a series high of 1.4 million viewers, and it is ranked among the top 15 most watched programs in Canada. Jennings is also passionate about new delivery models, and in 2008, her company Shaftesbury acquired Smokebomb Entertainment, an award-winning developer of original multi-platform digital content. One of Smoke Bomb's digital accomplishments is Backpackers, a comedy series and interactive app aimed at young adult audiences, which first launched on CTV and the CW sites. The live action series is about college graduates on separate European adventures as singles in the lead up to their wedding. And as of April 2014, the series was sold to the CW network, moving this web series to the television platform, making this Shaftesbury's first project to successfully move from digital to television. Wow. Mm -hmm. Overall, Christina Jennings is passionate, and passion is what she believes gets the job done. But most importantly, she is selective in her material. But once she commits to it, she will do everything in her power to create it. She is also always looking ahead, changing her business model, and adapting to new platforms in order to appeal to her audience, who are clearly intrigued by her award-winning and successful content. Well, that's a wrap for today. But before you go, let's get our trivia question for our audience. What job did Christina Jennings have right after graduating university? Let us know in the comments which one it was. Or tweet your answers to at Out of Frame TV. I'm Alessandra. And I'm Adam. We will see you next time for a brand new episode of Out of Frame where I'll be giving you a close up on the coolest Japanese director of all time, Akira Kurosawa. Bye, guys.